Hi there. It's been a while since my last upload, month in total. I used to make weekly videos, two or three videos per week, actually. I used to always upload, you know, my opinion on some controversial stance or something that's happening in the news. This channel started off with the intent to convert people over to Christianity. This channel then moved to converting and transitioning out of my religious household to becoming an atheist, and I documented that entire journey. And with that journey came a series of videos of my opinions on religion and thoughts on every type of controversial subject you can possibly imagine. And for the people who watch those videos, the people who subscribe and are still subscribed to this very day, I appreciate you guys supporting me and watching me for all these diff all these years. Almost eight years in total. It's a long time. There's been a lot of changes. A lot of changes on me, a lot of changes in my content, a lot of changes in my perspectives and how I view the world. But the biggest thing of all is that I don't do YouTube full-time anymore. Uh, I have chosen the path of going back to school, which I'm about to graduate. Um, I have a little less than a year less. I'm already certified by my state in welding um, with two certifications now. So that, that's amazing. Um, I'm going for five certifications in total. And I'm working on actuators. Like, I don't have the passion to do this anymore. More specifically, I don't have the passion to make controversy, to make controversial videos for the sole sake of people wanting to hear my opinion. You know, a couple weeks ago when that shooting happened, right, I got email after email, tweet after tweet, people asking me, Daniel, what are your opinions on gun control? What's your thoughts on gun control? Aren't, why aren't you making a video about, you know, this new school shooting? And the answer is, I could, but I won't. I have no passion for it. I have no interest to talk about gun control as a gun owner myself. I have no interest in talking about it. Why would I want to make videos and create content for people who want to consume my content when the reality is I'm not happy with what I'm doing? I have no passion for what I'm doing. I've moved on and I no longer have any interest to do YouTube full-time. I've hated doing YouTube full-time. It's been one of the most financial insecurities ever. Having to rely upon a fluctuated income, having to rely upon people to support you, fuck that. That's why I'm back in school, that's why I'm about to graduate with my degree, and that's why I'm getting certified in what I'm doing, is because it makes fucking money. And it makes good money. It sets my 401k, it sets, uh, sets my Roth IRA, it sets for my retirement. There's so much better options for me to choose and go down for a career path than YouTube. I knew when I started doing YouTube that this was not going to be something that I want to be 35 years old giving my opinion on some nut job who's trying to defend pedophilia. You know? That's not what I want in my life. I don't want to be creating content for the, my entire existence. It's just not in me. And I'm not going to force myself to be something that I'm not. I'm not going to force an opinion because that's what people want to hear. I'm going to be me. And I should have done this a I should have done this last year because I was already starting to get burnt out, you know. We started with religion, we started with uh atheist stuff and anti-religious videos, and then we started the SJW social justice thing that brought in hundreds of thousands of views. It got my channel grew and grew and grew. And that's awesome that it did. And I've moved past that and now the most important things in, on this channel for me is education, um, which is still going to be a thing on this channel. Like when people when people hear when people hear me say like, I'm done doing YouTube full time, they think I'm quitting YouTube altogether. I'm quitting YouTube, but I'm not quitting posting. This now is a hobby. Creating content is a hobby, nothing more. I have no desire to put up an upload schedule and say you know this video is going to come out next week. That's not going to happen. I'm going to upload when I want to upload. I'm going to live stream when I want to live stream. There's no consistency to this channel. Uh, and I want people to understand that. That I have better and more important things to do than to make pre-recorded videos about things that I wouldn't be passionate about. If I have no passion for it, what's the point in creating, you know? Um, 
I have plans for this channel. Videos will be posted, but that's in the long run. Obviously, I have to get my degree finished, and I have to get my own house before I can start doing welding videos. Like I want to show, I want to teach you guys what I know. I want to expand my knowledge in uh, construction and infrastructure and buildings and teaching you about magnesium and aluminum and the melting points of steel and all these different, you know, metal alloys that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in the construction industry. I want to teach you guys these things. And that, that, that it will eventually happen on this channel, it's just when and how long, I don't know. Because again, I, don't, I live in an apartment, I can't, I don't have my own weld shop to where I can show you guys stuff. I'm, I've actually been talking with some people in my, my uh, college to see if I can get a camera in the classroom itself so you guys can see what I do and what I work on and what I've been learning. Just to give you guys a small perspective of the career path that I've chosen in the construction industry. It's a real good, it, the trade industry is where it is at. I encourage anyone, if you're struggling with job options or you don't know what you want to do with your life, look in the trades. There's so much to do and so much need for people to go into that field. That's a whole other video, though. But at the end of the day, education is what I want to strive for on this channel. Um, education, I don't you know, some people notice that there's no more Mr. Repsion, right? I'm no longer Mr. Repsion, it's just Repsion because this channel has hit its final transition. And the transition is education and video games and food or whatever. Um, I love food. Like that's, those are like the three, the, the four most important things to me in my life, other than my school and my career path that I'm, I'm going down, is education, gaming, photography, and travel. Those four things are the most important things in my life in terms of like hobbies and things that, that I really care about. Those are things that I'm passionate about. Gaming, education, photography, and traveling. Oh, and food, five, excuse me, five things. Um, I started working on a uh, cooking tutorial again because people really like those just for fun because I enjoy doing it. At the end of the day, this channel, anything that gets posted on it has to be something that I enjoy doing. I don't enjoy it, it's not going to be posted. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that, that being happy with what you post, being happy with what you post on the internet for people to consume, if I'm not proud of it, why am I posting it? That's my mentality. If I'm not proud of it, why am I posting it? And for the whole year, for the whole year of 2017, every video post, and I mean every single one of them, I was not happy with the whole year of 2017. I was not happy doing YouTube. So what did I do? Went back to school and stopped po Actually, I stopped posting videos frequently about 2000, like middle of 2017. I was just like, you know what? I'm burnt out. And this burnt out is a permanent. This is not some temporary, oh, I just feel down and burnt out. This is how I feel about YouTube as a whole, about my channel as a whole, and what I want to do with content. And I hope people can accept that. And if you can't, hit that unsubscribe button. P seriously, like, I love live streaming video games. If you don't want to like watch live streaming video games, that's okay. If you don't want to see me, you know, make a food recipe video, by all means, that that's okay. Unsubscribe. If you want to see a video eventually on, on welding and, like, how to weld and what welding is and be educated on, in certain areas of, of the construction industry and the field of, of, of welding itself, unsubscribe it's okay i encourage you in fact i'd rather have people unsubscribe and be happy with whatever hits their sub box whether it's a gaming live stream whether it's a food review or whether it's a travel vlog you know i'm going to iceland in june which if i have any subscribers in iceland hit me up send me an email but i'm going to stay in iceland for two weeks and then it's a possibility that i may be visiting israel possibility we may be visiting israel the following month so like i have a lot of plans and things that I'm doing outside of YouTube. This is not a priority anymore. This platform is not my priority. And I really want to ingrain that in your head. I'm sorry if you're disappointed. No, I'm not really sorry. But I feel like I owe it to you guys to at least explain myself. And where I'm going in my personal life. My directions. And what I'm really passionate about. And my passions that are going to be posted on this channel. None of my videos are going to be deleted. Every video, that original video that you've watched. That maybe may you helped you. Whether that be mental health, whether that be sexual abuse, whether that be depression, whether that be converting out of religion, all of my videos are staying. 
all of them. Well, you don't need to worry about that. What you should worry about is what you do with your time, your goals, career-wise, and what's the, truly the most important thing that you want out of life. Those are the three most important questions that I ask myself, that I have been asking myself all through last year, which has helped me come to the conclusion that I don't want to do this anymore. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. And at the end of the day, it's not something that makes me happy with what I post. Controversy for the sake of views. That's all I've done. That part of me is dead. And I hope that at the end of the day, you can respect that and follow along to my new journey on this channel, wherever that may go. To those who have sponsored the channel, I appreciate you guys and appreciate your current support. To those who watch my live streams and of me epically failing at video games, I appreciate that. The consumers of my content have helped me grow and really helped me see what I want in my life. You guys, my audience, has helped me see what's most important in my life by watching my content, by seeing the reactions that I get out of people, you know, being edgy for the sake of views and attention. I've learned so much through content creating here on YouTube. The kindness that people have shown me when I was struggling with my faith in Christianity. A large part of my transition among many reasons, but large part was people being kind to me and showing me compassion where I was wrong in parts of my life. And because of that, I was able to grow. And now, years down the line, eight years down the line, I'm moving even more forward with not only my life, but my career and my career choices and my goals and my dreams. And I appreciate that so much that I still have people who support me despite how many transitions and changes that I've went through. Because the biggest thing that I've noticed about YouTube, and this goes for all content creators, is the moment you try something different, you lose people. The moment I stopped making controversial videos is the moment that my channel went red, 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 red. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm happy that it's red. Because that means that I'm doing something right with what I want for this channel to be. Because people are leaving because I don't, longer, I don't make what they want me to make. And it's been a long time for me to get to this point in my life to see that I was making content for all the wrong reasons. And now I make content for the sole sake of that I like it. It's fun. It brings me happiness. I can entertain somebody. I can make people smile. I can help someone. All of those reasons got clouded with my judgment to figure out what and why I'm on YouTube. Those are the real reasons. That's why I'm still here now. And let me tell you one of the biggest things. If you want to be successful on YouTube, if you want, truly want to be successful on YouTube, don't do it for the fame. Don't do it for the quote-unquote only the money like I did for so long on this platform. Because that was one of the biggest roots of my unhappiness on YouTube is because I did it as a job, not because... I wanted to do it because I enjoyed it. I did it for money. And while there's nothing wrong for doing things for money, for me, it brought me unhappiness, which has ultimately led me to where I am today with making a drastic change in my life and a drastic change for this channel. So take it as you will. Thank you for watching this video if you managed to watch it all the way through, and I will catch you guys in either a stream since I do stream twice a week or a pre-recorded video probably in the next month or two months or three months or four months. I don't know. Just depends how I feel. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday.